Ukrainian-American Fisher Winter on Fire did not only lose the Best Documentary nomination, but also the unity of its team. Konstantin Ignachuk, the scriptwriter of the first version of Winter on Fire, worked with the film director Evgeny Afanievsky since the beginning of 2014. They both prepared the Fisher for Toronto Film Festival. At that time, the first version of the film was called Pray for Ukraine. Kostyatin worked more than any of us. He spent three months in the office of Ukustream where he worked on the documentary 24-7. Evgeny Afinevsky, you know, he's a good organiser. I would call him a more producer rather than film director. He's very emotional and ambitious. He knows a lot of people and is good with networking. Pray for Ukraine, where Afanievsky was the director and Ignatschuk, the scriptwriter, was presented and screened in Ukraine only once. We've never met after the premiere. We had a conflict and the major reason of it was our desire to show this movie in Europe and Ukraine for free. Kostyatin called me and said that he was very disappointed. He came to the office in the morning and Afinevsky took hard disks with master copies, rough cuts and original features. And within days we realized he left to the US. It wasn't even a version of the movie. It was a rough cut, and I brought it to the U.S. I wanted to show it to studios. This is a scene from Ukraine documentary, Pray for Ukraine. This is the scene from Winter on Fire. Some of the differences are the duration, special features, graphics and music, but the scripts are very similar. There was no script for this movie. The Maidan was the only script writer. Kostya worked with us as part of the Uker Stream team. He can think of himself as whatever he wants. I was a script writer and a co-producer of the feature. We worked with Yevgeny for three months. After Afinievsky left to the US, he cut part of his team off. Co-producers Pavlo Polishok and Yuri Ivanishin joined to the volunteer military battalions and now they are part of the Ukrainian army. They've got a permission from their senior officer to come to Los Angeles and their friend paid for the tickets. They underline they are not motivated by financial benefits or royalties, but they want recognition they think they deserve. This is not only for the sake of principle, but also to enable them to apply for grants as an Oscar-nominated crew. There's no place for charity in the U.S. If you're transferring the rights, it should cost something. My only desire is to show the real production capacity in Ukraine. I want to show you a very interesting thing. This is my draft of the Oscars speech. Do you see Konstantin's name here? Why are you yelling at me? I will tell the press that you are destroying the image I've worked for. You're working for Russia. The plans and desires of both sides of the conflict are different. Afinievsky is preparing for the Emmy Awards. His opponents are preparing to file a lawsuit not only in Ukraine but also in the US. This is Natalka Pisnev for Ukraine Today from Los Angeles, California.